Hi everyone. My name is Praveen. Today we are going to talk about how can we connect with people outside your organization through Microsoft Teams. There are few ways to invite guest. The external users are always called as guest to Microsoft Teams. Let's get started. There are three very basic way to do this. One, invite them from the chat app. The second, invite them as a guest to Microsoft Teams, one of the teams that you've created under the Teams app, or sending a meeting invite to them and the external parties can join the meeting as a guest. Let me type a Teams test account in Microsoft. Microsoft is def definitely not my organization. And now you can see it, it is displaying. Like this, you can add any organization they use Microsoft Teams and if they allow the external party communication, it needs to be allowed from your organization and from the other organization to connect, connect with external parties. This is very important. If it is allowed, you can just search with their email address and it will display the result and you can add them to the chat and now you can start chatting with them. You can make a call with them, video conference with them and can also share your desktop all depends upon the permission that is set by your organization. Try yourself and let me know the results and I'll be happy to help you. And the second option is to add an external party as a guest to the team that you have created. Here you do not have a dependency that the other party does require a Microsoft Teams account. You can even add a public domain username Gmail my Gmail account as a guest to the team. So the moment that we add, the other party will receive a notification. Let's log into my Gmail account and I'll show you how the other party will accept the request that we have sent just now. Before jumping into Gmail, let me show you how will it look like in your team's membership. Now, the new person will be added as a guest. Let's get into Gmail now. I've received a notification. One thing that here you need to understand is you need to create a guest account with the Gmail account to which you received the invitation. Just copy the link and I am opening a private window so that I can use two accounts in the same machine. Now it will ask me the username and password. If you have not created a password for the public domain account, you can actually mention forget my password it will send a code and you can create a password the regular process and accept the review permission of answerarena.com and then you will be navigated to the team's organization of answerarena.com as a guest so now the third person the public domain person is joined to my organization as a guest i'm still in the browser as a guest i'm going to chat window and I can search for the organization person which is Praveen Balan who invited me to the chat and I can start chatting with the person as like as if that I'm part of the organization but but limited permissions now I've received the message on my team's application from a person called Praveen Balan and in the bracket you can see that he is as a guest now I can start calling him whether it can be audio, video, or I can even share the desktop. Now I'm just making a call to show you how will it work for the other party. So now the guest person as my public domain account, my Gmail account is receiving a call from the organization. Some of you might experience that doesn't work for them. It could be because the organization doesn't allow the guest access for your account. You can talk to them. And understand now let's get to the the final option which is nothing but sending a normal meeting invite as if you're sending it to an external party from the team's calendar when you send it from the team's calendar instead of sending it from the outlook what difference it makes is like it actually sends a link along with it to join to the meeting I'm sending an invite to my gmail account Enter some text.
send. Let's get into my Gmail window. By this time, I would have received an invitation, a calendar invitation, as if like a normal invitation, but it contains a link saying join Microsoft Teams meeting. I just copy the URL. I'm opening it in web instead of the application. You can use the application. I'm just explaining it. How will it look like for the external party? It is starting the meeting. Enter a name to identify and then click join now. See when a guest is joining a meeting, he is joining to a meeting without any password authentication. So it is important that somebody in the organization should let them in. This is again a settings from the administrator side which they would have done. Let me show you now that I'm going to start the meeting which I have initiated from the Teams application. You can go to the calendar and choose the date and click join button join the meeting and let the other party in by clicking at ad admit you, ca you can verify the name if you want to verify the identity and now the external party and you are part of the meeting this is a very simple method that you can actually make use in your organization to meet with the parties external to your organization. Now let me summarize. There are three basic ways I explained today from chat, from the teams and by sending a calendar invite. Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. Write your comments and ask your questions. Subscribe the channel for more videos. I will come back with another one. Bye for now, I am Praveen Balan signing off.